If you really want to get famous, you totally can, but that starts with providing value. Did you know that about 97% of all YouTube channels fail within the first year? Yeah, 97% failure rate, pretty intimidating, but luckily for you, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a four-part strategy that's been handed down to me by my mentors that have been able to go from zero to monetize to well over six figures in their income, not only annually, but for some of them, monthly. So with that said, I do want to acknowledge that this is my first video on this YouTube channel, but as well as the platform in total. So I'm going to be sticking to these strategies pretty closely. If you want to see how they unfold in real time, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. But with that said, I'm going to take some time to introduce myself before we get into the video. My name is Brendan Saucedo and I'm the founder of Bouted Co, which is a social media marketing and ads agency that's helped tons of online brands build out their foundational strategies to not only grow organically using social media, but also applying those same strategies to their marketing and advertising efforts so that way they can scale their revenue as well as their profit quickly, efficiently, and consistently. If at any point in time you're done watching the free content and you want to talk a little bit more seriously and in detail, you're always more than welcome to book in a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Just use the calendar link in the video description below that's going to be living under all my videos and pick out a time where we can actually go into detail of where your business is at, where you want it to be, and how we can close that gap. So go ahead, grab a notebook, take a seat, and let's get into the video. All right, so as I mentioned, about 97% of all YouTube channels fail within the first year. This comes down to one thing and one thing only, which is the fact that people forget to slow down, do the research, make a plan, so that way they can get to a specific place in a certain amount of time. And this is not exclusive to YouTube or social media or business, it's really a life thing. So after making this mistake many a times in other areas of my life, I figured, you know, why not just take my time and actually do this and reach out to my mentors and other creators that have found success. And that's how we came together and put together this four-part strategy that I'm gonna break down for you today. I do want you to know that this four-part strategy does have a lot of details and steps, so I'm not gonna have enough time to go into all the nooks and crannies. But if at any point you have any specific questions or want me to unpack any specific topics, you're more than welcome to like the video, let me know in the comments so that way I know what videos to make, and also subscribe to the channel so that way when I do make the videos, you'll be the first person to know. All right, now that we've got the traditional call to action out the way, it's time to get into the strategy. But one last thing before I do, I do need you to make me one promise, which is to make a decision. And that's the decision to make sure that you're here to provide value and not get famous because if you really want to get famous you totally can but that starts with providing value and whether that be giving value on you know social media and strategies or providing value on just making people smile it starts with that so if you want to get famous you got to start with providing value and then if you provide that value in a way that resonates with your audience you'll totally get there and just got to make sure that value is the priority Okay, that said, let's get into strategy number one, which is creating your brand identity. Now, this is super important because this is where you basically define the characteristics that people come to know you by. And it's going to be the very reason why people not only find you, but also come back and even tell their friends about your channel so that way they can follow you as well. Now, I know building an identity comes in a lot of different parts, so I've broken it down into three simple steps. One being stating your why. You wanna start with why in pretty much anything that you do. Even if it's just the fact that you wanna to go to the store, you gotta get in your car and know exactly why you're in there and where you wanna go, right? So, state your why. For me, my why is the fact that I wanna help people go all in on themselves and their business to build the life that they want. Now, if I wanted to get rich and famous, I would have stayed in the entertainment industry or gone to the family business or you know, gone to real estate or all these different things, but no. I'm in marketing because I figured out a way where I can actually meet some pretty cool people that have a vision and I know exactly how to help them grow their vision into something that lasts, that's sustainable, that helps them live a life of their dreams. So this is something that fulfills me. It could be something different for you, but that's where we're starting with, our why. Next, once you figure that out, we want to break down our content pillars. Now, if you don't know what this is, basically it's three to five different topics that your channel talks about most. Now, it could be as vague as the fact that you want to have, let's say, I want to make engaging content. I want to make content that's meant to inspire. I want to make content that is meant to educate. You could do that, but what you really want to do is get super specific about what you talk about. And for me, I know I can help people best and deliver on my promise, really, 
by talking about social media marketing, online business, and lifestyle optimization. And even going further, I decided to add personal adventures as well because working for myself, working remotely, and just working in this industry allows me to meet some really cool people and gain some cool perspective that I know not everybody gets to have. So in the spirit of providing value, I figured why not share that with people because it pretty much be a disservice if I didn't, right? So now that you got your content pillars out of the way, it's time for the third part of this first strategy, which is to create your domino statement. Now this one's a little bit more technical, but it's gonna be worth it 100% trust. So basically what this is, it's a template statement. And I got it from Russell Brunson from one of his books. If you don't know who Russell Brunson is, basically he is an online marketing and sales genius and he owns ClickFunnels, which basically is a website builder that helps people communicate very clearly how to you know, sell their products. So basically I figured if, you know, if I wanna be like the best, why not take notes from the best? So I got this domino statement thing, which has helped me a whole lot with my communication. And basically it's a template statement where you need to start off with two things. You need to figure out clearly what's the biggest problem you solve. Next, you need to figure out what is the solution that you provide to solve that problem for other people. And then once you have those things down clearly, you can fill out these three things as well. The new opportunity, what your audience desires most, and also your specific vehicle to get that desired result. Basically saying that if you can clearly fill out this sentence and understand how to communicate what it is that you do to help people and how you help people, then you're gonna alleviate a lot of questions and eliminate a lot of friction in the buying process, making it super easy for people to jump on board with your brand, your brand mission, and your products. And having the ability to clearly communicate what your brand is all about is super powerful because now it's gonna allow you to, you know, communicate what your brand is and what it is that you offer. And with that, you're gonna be able to consistently deliver a specific message. And by doing that, you're gonna build familiarity in your industry as well as authority in your industry. And with that, you're pretty much gonna have a really easy time getting people on board with you and your brand and like I said, what it is that you have to offer. So with that said, that's three parts to building out your brand identity. And it's super, super important that you get this thing down first because if you don't start with this, then it's really gonna make the rest of the strategy completely irrelevant. You gotta set that solid foundation so that way you can really just build up, 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 up without the building you know, imploding on itself. As one of my mentors says, you know, houses are built on the ground, not on the clouds above it. So you gotta make sure you get that solid foundation and this is really where it starts. All right, now that we've built out your brand identity, it's time to get into strategy number two, which is finding content ideas that are gonna engage your audience. Now, this is gonna be broken down into a four-step strategy. So first thing is gonna be basically getting out a piece of paper and writing down every single problem that you fix. It could be big problems, little problems, anything that you know is worth telling people. And don't think any problem is too small because my common sense is not your common sense. And you might be able to share something with me that might be super simple to you, but could be the game changer for me. So just write down every single problem that you can fix. All right, next, what you wanna do is start off by following a bunch of people that are either competitors, people that you look up to in your industry, and anyone really that has a significant audience and can pull a significant amount of engagement on their videos in your niche. And not only are you gonna watch the videos to see what the industry is putting out into the market, but what you really wanna do is go through the comments and you wanna figure out, okay, what are the most commonly asked questions? What are all of the most commonly addressed issues that are not being addressed by the creators? So that way you can actually look at these and let yourself know that these are the gaps in the industry. This is the gap that you, you know, that is pretty much open for you to fill. So that way you can make videos on this. And if no one else is making videos on it, people are gonna find you instead of everybody else. So that's a really cool way to find a gap and really dive straight into it in your industry. All right, now the third part of this one is gonna be pretty simple. Now you have all these problems you solve. You have topics that are not being addressed questions that are not being answered. You're gonna write, have them all, and you're gonna write them down or reword them into outcome-driven titles. So for example, I can make a video title that says, how do you Zoom to run a remote team, right? Or you can change the title to something like, how to run a six-figure company remotely. And then in the video, talk about how you use Zoom as a tool. What that's gonna do is one, incentivize people to click on the video title because it's like, oh yeah, I wanna run a six-figure you know, company remotely, but also 
it's going to shift the authority from being Zoom as the main thing that's gonna help you do that to you and your strategy and your principles to being the main reason why people should follow you so that way you can get advice on how to run a six-figure company. So now that you've done this for a couple of your titles and gotten to the groove of figuring out how to exactly reword things to be outcome driven, what you wanna do is actually put them in the search bar using a tool called TubeBuddy. So go ahead, install that in your Explorer, install that on your, uh, your YouTube channel, your page, and go ahead, search some of these titles. And with that, it's gonna have a little graph on the side that's actually gonna show you your relevancy score. Basically, giving you a score to let you know how discoverable your video titles are. All right, now that you have a bunch of topics that you can make videos on and a method to make them more discoverable, and you've done all that groundwork of building the foundational part of your identity, it's time for you to take some action. So that's gonna get us into strategy number three, which is to solidify your skills and strategies. And it's just in a different way. We kind of tinkered with a couple details, but we boiled it down into six different parts, which you can actually adjust to what makes sense for you. Now, the first part of this is actually making a challenge to create a certain amount of videos in a certain amount of days. Now, I'm doing 90 videos in 90 days. You can change it more or less, but essentially what you wanna do is have enough videos for you to get in the groove of even making videos and practice being in front of camera and owning the space, but also building out a foundation for yourself because we're actually gonna be looking into the comments of our competitors because we don't have any data to go off of ourselves. So by putting out a good amount of videos and being able to analyze the data, we're gonna see what the audience wants, how they react, when they're online, basically all the things that are gonna help us make adjustments to our strategy so that way we know what works, what doesn't, and we can do more of the good things that are working and trim the fat on the other end. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and made a decision to make a certain amount of videos, we wanna go ahead and make a couple different content archetypes. Now, this is for the reason that simply we just don't want to put out the same thing all the time. We want to give people watching the channel some kind of variation and also even give them a chance to hear from other people, not just ourselves. So a couple different content archetypes that I'm going to be rolling with that you can use or switch up on your own are these. I'm going to be doing how-to videos, client interviews, peer interviews, so that way people are not just hearing from me, and also sharing some resources, because I don't have all the information, sometimes I share or borrow information for other things, and I wanna share not only things that are coming from me, but also books that you can read, other creators, courses that have helped me out, even some things that I've done that would probably be a waste of your time that I felt like that was a waste of mine, so next, with the explosion of short form videos, I actually made the promise to myself that I'm gonna be pulling two clips from each YouTube video and turning them into YouTube Shorts, TikToks, and Instagram Reels. Because like I said, short form video has exploded and extracting key points of the different videos is gonna be a really good way to just deliver a lot of information really quickly and efficiently. So now that you have that, there's gonna be two things that are very similar that you're gonna to wanna to do, which is one, designate time to engage with your audience on other people's channels, but also designate time to engage with your audience on your channel. Make sure that you're building a, a really good and strong connection with your audience, so that way you have stronger influence and you're building that familiarity and authority like we talked about before. Because that's what's gonna be that helps you get people on board, but also turns customers into brand advocates or followers into brand advocates. Get other people to follow you as well because the best kind of marketing in life is word of mouth and also it's free, but it does take a lot of actual you know, work. It takes a lot of nurturing and it's not something that you can just like buy off the street. That's why it's worth so much to people. And lastly, we have study your data. So incrementally, we're gonna break down different video sections. So for every 15 videos, I'm gonna be studying the data that's being produced by these videos. I wanna just study you know, who's watching the videos, what amount of watch time are they giving, where are they, what time are they online, etc. So that way, again, like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying over and over again, figure out what works and get rid of what doesn't. It's time to get into strategy number four, which is analyze your data and plan for the next phase. Now, the first part of analyzing is not just the data that your videos are producing. It's also the data that you're putting out. So, you know, like how good are you getting at specific skills? How long is it taking to film these videos? And with that, knowing how your day is, knowing how much time it's taken away from you and the other things that you have going on in life, like for me, running a business, having a personal life that I wanna balance, you also wanna go ahead and use your data to create a sustainable scheduling system. So, if I know that 
three days out of the week, my videos catch fire and they do really great. You know, I'm gonna post videos three days a week instead of seven days a week because those extra four days I can work on my business, my family, all those other things, right? So basically you wanna use this as an opportunity to analyze the data to see how it's gonna fit your lifestyle the best. And next, speaking of building your community, you wanna figure out and even reach out to a few people that you can collaborate with. Now, this doesn't have to be people in your industry, could be people in a completely different industry, but that can utilize your tools. So for me, like I used to be a bartender, and even though like you know marketing, you might not think has a lot to do with bartending, I can collaborate with a bartender with a big following and teach him some marketing principles that his following can actually use as well. And there you go, now I'm inserting myself as an authority in a whole new market. And you can do the same, whatever it is for you. So make sure you're taking opportunities to collaborate with people, expand your reach, and even just provide more value to a wider audience where even <laughs> where it might seem unlikely. All right, and then once you have all that down, it's time to get into the brass tacks. Last but not least, focus on monetization. Now sit down, take all this information that you've put together, all the data you've collected, and really think about monetization outside of AdSense. Because even after doing a challenge or you know putting all your effort into it, maybe you're not growing on YouTube, but your videos are getting a lot of traction. So there's a lot other ways to make money outside of just ads and uh, monetization. You could you know sell a course on whatever it is that you provide value for. You could you know. You could provide consulting. You can have brand deals. You can, you know, you can set up a merch shop. You can do affiliate marketing. So basically, get affiliate links for different tools that you talk about and things like that. So there's tons of ways that you can actually monetize. And just don't think that there's only one way to make money on YouTube or online in general. So take some time, figure that out, and just really open yourself up to the different possibilities because that's what this whole thing is about. Really opening yourself up to possibilities because you know start. Starting your own channel really is like you know figuring out and carving your own space online to communicate with whoever you know as long as they can get a YouTube connection or as long as they can get a, a internet connection and find your channel you know you really have the opportunity to take all these different pieces of this strategy and use it to communicate and build your brand and also provide value to people in various ways using the power of video all right so that pretty much wraps up this four-part strategy of how we're going to get as successful as we possibly can, as quickly and efficiently as possibly can, and join that 3% of successful YouTubers and creators on this platform. And also, if you got a lot of value out of this video and you feel like you can actually benefit from working directly with me, or just want to talk a little bit more specifically about how you can grow and get close to your goals, as I mentioned before, feel free to book that free one-on-one -on -one in the calendar link in the description below the video, and then we'll go ahead and book in that time for you and we'll get down to business. So. That said, that's my time. I'm not gonna take any more. This was a little bit longer than I anticipated. So thank you for getting to the end of the video and we'll see you in the next one.